Oh yes, breakfast. You guys wanna go see my fucking sick ass whips? Let's go! How shitty does it look? I don't know if you guys pay attention to the alpha male community, but it's friggin' wild on YouTube. There's been a new DLC downloadable content package in the alpha male universe, which is the Sigma male. How many more letters of the Greek alphabet are we going to use to explain our manhood? Seems to be endless. It's basically astrology for bros. The same guy who's like, oh, I can't believe you believe that being a Taurus means you're going to act a certain way will literally turn around and be like, I'm actually not a beta or an alpha, but I'm a Sigma Omega male and say that with a straight face. <laughs> I understand that there needs to be like a subsection for guys that where they can feel comfortable to like express these different things and like kind of find themselves and make their lives better. But I, I'll, most of the people who make these videos have no qualifications to be doing anything. They're not clinical psychologists. They're not even most of the time life coaches, which are already kind of a sketchy thing because in a lot of places you don't need a diploma to become a life coach. I could be a life coach right now, dude. <laughs> Why Sigma males are more attractive than alpha males. You know how many men just decided to become Sigma after reading that title? They're like, people want me, people really like me. I'm kind of a Sigma. <laughs> Why Sigma males are more attractive than alpha males. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Anthony Spade channel. Man, this guy's intro is something. I wonder if he takes himself seriously. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about why Sigma males are more attractive than Alpha males. Now a lot of people didn't even know that Sigma males existed until last week. Because they don't, dude. They're made up. So we're having this debate in the Manosphere about Alphas and Sigmas. The Manosphere. What does that say about me? Because I had no idea the Manosphere existed. Guess I'm not a man. Or am I just so alpha that I, like I'm on my own page, dude? I'm an Omega man. <laughs> to most of you guys, your definition of a alpha male is a guy who has money, who has women, and who is good looking. Can beta males have money? Yes. Majority of the successful men in the world are beta males. You have to understand. Do you hear that guys? Betas can have money too. Oh, fuck, dude. Damn, man, this whole time I could have had money and women in power. Oh, I thought that was reserved for alphas. Damn, dude, I've been wasting my time. No matter if you're alpha, no matter if you're sigma, you're beta, omega, delta, zelta. <laughs> okay, dude. They use the entire alphabet to describe manliness. How many DLCs did they release at once? This is insanity. Now, when it comes to good looks, how many beta males out there are good looking? A lot of beta males. <laughs> what up, dude? Sigma males are a form of alpha males. The difference is, alphas are known for lions for a reason. That's another thing about a lot of these alpha videos is they always have these bizarre comparisons to like these crazy, ruthless, wild animals like tigers and wolves lions and apes gorillas and it's like dude you're a delicate human being <laughs> you don't have the same physical technology as a wolf or an ape you can't brute force your way to the top of the dominance hierarchy you're not gonna fist fight a friggin gorilla dude you get torn apart <laughs> so comparing yourself to a gorilla to me is very funny because if brute force muscles and strength and dominance were like the things that led somebody up the social hierarchy and then that would just mean the biggest strongest scariest dude would just be president nay king of the world even <laughs> when a beta male wants to emulate a alpha male they want to appear stronger they want to appear more powerful, which is why in the gym, you have a lot of beta males that take the steroids, the creatine, live in the gym so they can get big and look different, so they can put off a masculine aura. So trying to be big and strong is beta, but 
the reason that they're trying to be big and strong is to be alpha. So alphas are big and strong, but if you try to be big and strong, you're a beta. Now, let's go back to the lion. When a lion wants to conquer or scare people, he roars. That's what alpha males do. Alpha males talk the loudest. Alphas are more aggressive than beta males. Hey, you know what else lions do? They lick their buttholes, dude. I think it's a little unfair to just take the good things. <laughs> when a beta male tries to argue with an alpha male, an alpha male gets louder. Or an a, 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 a alpha male could be more physical because an alpha male is going to intimidate. So when it comes to just the mindset of an alpha male, what I want you to think about is the lion. The lion conquers other lionesses. And then he forms his own group. You have to look at it like a gang. Look at the Bloods and the Crips. Most of those guys are beta males from broken homes, but they're led by a alpha male, which would be the toughest guy in the group. That goes right back to wolves. So are alpha males aggressive or not, dude? You want me to have a lion mindset, but also don't go to the gym. Doesn't even make any sense. And now he's jumping to what wolves do. I get it though, cause, cause I'm a Sigma. <laughs> my brain works different dude you have a stupid beta brain i have a man brain wolves are led by alpha males when they roll in pack and the lone wolf that rolls by himself is actually a sigma all right now we're getting to the concept sigma males are the alpha males that don't want to conquer they want to be on their own sigma males gain their power off of loneliness so a sigma male is an alpha male who's not necessarily a leader, but more of like a cool, quiet, loner, mysterious type. <laughs> He's the fucking bad boy of the alpha world, dude. That's why it connects more with a tiger. Tigers, leopards, jaguars, they move individually. Hey bro, how many animals are you gonna mention in this one video? The tiger is also bigger than the lion. The maximum size for a lion that you're probably gonna see is 350 pounds. When it comes to a Siberian tiger, which is probably the biggest tiger, they're gonna get up to 700 pounds. This guy's just rattling off facts about tigers and lions and wolves and stuff. What is this video? <laughs> what is this video? I thought this was why Sigma males are more attractive. And so far, we have not even breached the topic, I feel like. The average lifespan for a alpha lion is going to be 16 years. The average lifespan for a tiger is going to be 22. Why? Less damaging, less trouble, less drama. moves longer than the lion. This is why Sigmas are more attractive. It's because they have nothing to prove to nobody but themselves. To be a Sigma male, you have to be self-confident in yourself, which means that you don't walk around with your head down. You walk around with your head high. The difference between the Sigma and the Alpha, the Sigma does not want to be seen. So a Sigma is an introverted Alpha, and therefore he's more attractive? Who deemed them more attractive? You? Is that that's just what that's just what this guy's into. He's into Sigma males. <laughs> this guy's like, dude, Sigma males are friggin' hot, dude. Trust me. <laughs> Sigma, dude? How about you Sigma balls, bro? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not I'm not I'm not real proud of that joke, but at the same time, I kind of am. <laughs> A big problem with these videos is they always like paint everybody black and white and as far as like their behaviors and the way that they act. It's like you might be quote unquote alpha around a certain person, but you might be quote unquote beta around another. It's all in terms of relativity, who you're around and, and what you're talking about and your experience and your confidence levels that day. Dudes should just go ahead and skip all of this stuff and just learn how to be uh, confident and assertive. If someone tells you, you cannot be born an alpha. You cannot be born a, uh, a, a sigma. They're right. Everybody's born a beta. Look at this beta ass baby, dude. This little baby's just a little beta. Little bitch, little baby ass, little beta bitch. 
This is not the type of guy to go to in order to look for tips on how to improve your life. Go talk to people who have figured it out, my guy. There's already plenty of stuff out there as far as making your life better. That this is not a guy you should be taking advice from. The guy with the Sigma sign in the background who clearly doesn't even have like a defined outline of what it actually means. And in his head is just completely confused with all these different animals running around. His brain is a fucking zoo, dude. <laughs> all right, whatever, dude. I can't, I, can li I can't even watch any more of this guy's video. Anyways, all in all, I don't think alphaism or looking into alpha is necessarily bad. I just think that there's so many dangerous ideas sprinkled in there that it's like, I would personally just avoid it. There's so many ways to become a better version of yourself, to take on ownership, responsibility, improve your charisma, improve your confidence, become less passive, be a little bit more assertive. All these things are not necessarily uh, gender specific, right? So, hey, just do the work on yourself and don't worry about anything that these guys are saying because they're not qualified. And to be quite frank with you, they're delusional and paranoid. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Alpha, Tiger, Sigma, Leopard, Beta, Omega, Jaguar, Delta, Zelta.